Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Friday evening, and I hope that you guys have a great Saturday. Uh, it is 7.30 a.m., and I am about to feed the cats and then jump into the shower, because this hair needs to be washed. I know that most of you guys will probably ask the question, why are you feeding the cats a big can of cat food? Because I got two big pigs, that's why. It takes like 500 years for the water to warm up. So we're waiting. Oh, that shower was so nice. It always feels good to like feel clean and your hair is nice and shampooed and conditioned. I'm just going to quickly blow dry it. I got brand new clothes on. I got my sweater that says, leave the judging to Jesus. I know that that phrase has become very popular among the uh, non-believers. It keeps people from judging other people. Yeah, well, you do not want to be judged by God because you are going to regret every single thing you've ever done in your life. But this statement is also very true to the Christian community because in order to gain a non-believer is to not judge but you also do not want to become the world because that's not how you gain people either but I like this this uh, shirt um, it's nice and it's like a velvety kind of colored red I like it a lot I think that's good enough. It's not uh, too dry and it's not too wet. I don't want to fully dry it because then it'll get all fizzy and gross. And then, you know, well, you know. Well, most of you guys do if you guys are women. I used to have the shampoo that I used to put in my hair that helped fizz, not, not fizziness, um, split ends. I couldn't believe how well it worked. But they don't make it anymore and it's from what company was it? Oh, goodness. I don't even know the company. I can't even be begin to think. Good as new. I love when my hair is clean. I think I already said that before, but it's true. All right. I am going to make some breakfast. For breakfast, I am making this regular old, old-fashioned oatmeal. It has no flavoring, so it means there's no sugar. In fact, it has zero sugar, even added sugar is zero. Um, it does have quite a few amounts of carbohydrates, which is what, what is expected in oats. But it has fiber, it has like insoluble fiber, soluble fiber, dietary fiber, it has protein. It's just good and healthy. And it has zero smell. I just made myself a cup of coffee. My parents bought me a Keurig last year, and I absolutely love it. It makes just one cup of coffee at a time, which is all I need. Um, and then also my dad bought me like 180 K-cups, and I still have some in the drawer from last Christmas. I need sugar. All right, so my oats are all done, and let me steal this from the coffee. It is uh, still pretty runny, but that's okay. And honey has no, like, it's a, it's a natural sugar, very much like carrots, so you shouldn't have a lot of it because it is considered a sugar. Hmm, what should I watch? I'm watching Ridiculousness. 
I definitely could have cooked the oatmeal a little bit longer, but it was still very, very good. I finished it all. I'm contemplating if I should make some more, but sometimes it takes a couple minutes for the oatmeal to actually start, you know, filling you up. You should try it. Just old-fashioned oatmeal, uh, half a cup of old-fashioned oatmeal, a cup of milk, pinch of salt, put in the microwave, and then you just cook it till you feel like it's done. And then you um, put some honey in it, and the honey just takes it to a whole nother level. It is so good. It is almost 10 a.m. I'm finishing my cup of coffee. It takes me a while to finish coffee. And we all know, we all know the reason why. I don't have to get into it. <laughs> um, so I am going to get my, sh my shoes on and my coat on, and I'm going to go over to my parents' place. that I'm I've decided to put some makeup on before I go I have not worn makeup in a long time and I'm sick of looking 12 let's do it <laughs> I got all of my stuff that I need. I am taking my laundry just in case my dad lets me do laundry at his house. Which he normally does because he's an awesome guy. And it saves me money. <laughs> it is exactly 10.30 and I am now in my car. I'm ready to go. I'm letting my car warm up just a small bit before I step on the gas. I forgot. I need to wrap the remainder gifts that came in the mail. Um... I have no more gifts coming. It's all over. It's too close to Christmas to order anything else. My dad's gone. This is the perfect time to wrap the gifts I have for him. Let's go get this done. Uh oh, it's recording. <laughs> this vacuum paper absolutely reeks. Hi, Mom. Hello, honey. Thank you for filming for me. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Listen, I am not a good rapper, so don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's judging you, honey. The last three gifts of Christmas. 
Dad hood is back again. <laughs> and he's not talking either. All right. All of the presents are wrapped and put under the tree. And they are ready to be opened on Christmas morning. I'm excited. Hey, everybody. This is my mom. She is going to join me with the Bible reading Hello. since I'm still here. Yes, we are still here and we are loving my daughter's Bible reading. Yes, I found out that uh, um, today that she's been showing the videos to my dad and my uh, brother and they like it. So it gives me, um, what do you call it? Encouragement. Encouragement. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are on chapter 3 of 2 Timothy. Okay. I'm, I'm going to turn this light on because my eyesight is poor. All right. All right, starting with verse 1. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Mm. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetousness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent. <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> Wait, what's the word? Incontinent. Well, it doesn't mean they can't control their bladder. Their, their bladder. <laughs> no. Um, I have to look it up in my Bible. Um, Probably. But it definitely does not mean that. Maybe they're not able to control themselves. That sounds good. But I'll have to look it up to find out. Okay. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I might fall into that category. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's, let's start again. With this, with this three? I mean, with verse one? That sounds good. Doesn't that sound good, everyone? And okay. we won't start all over. We'll just let's 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 take this in. Okay. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And and we're in the last days. Yes, we are. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accuser, accusers, incontinent, fierce, <laughs> You're the incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, mm. traitors, heady, or heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, mm. having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead, oh my gosh, and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, mm -hmm. ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as James and John Bray's withstood Moses, so do those also resist the truth. Mm -hmm. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for they for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. Mm -hmm. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience, which are also the fruits of the Spirit. That's right. Persecutions, afflictions, which may come unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, Iconium, mm -hmm. and Lystra, which persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom they hast learned from. And that form, oh my goodness gracious, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, 
which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable by, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. <laughs> I was mouthing just that first. I know. Well, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is the end of chapter three. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank my mom for being present. Thank you, my daughter, for reading God's word. Yeah. Day 21. My goodness gracious. Since doing this YouTube channel, the days have just gone by so fast. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Which is good because it, could just, it just pushes me closer to Christmas. <laughs> And what? closer to the return of our Lord. Oh, that too. <laughs> yes. Have you have any final words to say? Well, when you were reading that, it was as if you were reading the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. It is unbelievable. You could put a check mark next to each one. Oh, yeah. That describes what men and women would be like in the last days and one of them that was very interesting the two names that you mentioned jam Reese and the other guy mm -hmm. like jam Reese, that's it okay yeah yeah those are uh the the two magicians that served under pharaoh oh. and when moses remember when he laid down the rod mm -hmm. and it turned into a snake mm -hmm. well their two rods also turned into a snake mm -hmm. and of course God's rod being God you know he swallowed his rod swallowed mm -hmm. their two fish or fish <laughs> snakes <laughs> well you know, you know what's interesting I, I, is, that, is that is that your point I was getting to my point oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that is it, it is incredible how many times on my YouTube channel when I have taught the Word of God, how many times I have had people respond and say, oh no, I don't believe that. I don't want to believe that. Mm -hmm. None of it is true. I've got something better. Why don't you study human philosophy? Why don't you get into this and that? And yeah, saying that God's Word is no longer valid. And it's no longer truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own truth. It's mm -hmm. no longer the truth of God, mm -hmm. which is absolute. And that's just like those two men serving under Pharaoh. They were trying to prove that their philosophy was 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 greater than God's. Yes. But my point I want to make is when it said like when it says children disobedient to parents, mm -hmm. like I think that children have been disobedient to their parents for eons mm -hmm. but it's interesting how that's very clear because if you think about it the 1960s was the most you know what was a generation that was so far from god and it and it pretty much sprouted these people that have worldly minds and they made children of their own without any knowledge in raising children, teaching children in God. I mean, my generation is absolutely disgusting. And the generation after mine are all completely dead-minded with technology. Mm. They're completely numbed to reality. Mm -hmm. And just imagine how many kids that are younger than me even know about the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're getting pretty close. We are. We are. All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up because we are going on to ten minutes. Yeah. Ooh, we are. Okay. And hello, morning Bible. Mm -hmm. We love you. Thank you. And we love anyone else who's watching. And we are so thankful. I'm thankful for my daughter. I'm thankful, for, I'm thankful for my mom. Oh. All right, you guys. You guys take care. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>